Okay, I'm sorry I had to go off. Um, I had issues with the connection. Um, but I've deleted that uh, video, so I'm starting another one. Okay, so this is part three for the video. And uh, in this section, we're going to create a request to pay. Please, like I said, please subscribe, comment, like. That is the only way I can track of what is happening to the video. That's the only way I can track if the video you like it or you don't. Otherwise, if you don't, then why should I create videos that people don't like, okay? So if the video is not of help to you, let me know if it is of help. Let me know if there's any way you want me to change. Let me know. I need statistics. You get it? Alright, so in the previous uh, part, we managed to create our token. Okay, so uh, we did it in PHP. The first thing we did was to create the auth, and then we create the base 64 encoded. So right now we're going to do a request to pay and this will be part three and then in part four we shall see the response for the request to pay all right so I'm, uh, the first thing i'm going to do is create a new token uh, because i lost the previous one due to uh, the loss in connection and then i'll do a request to pay <coughs> okay so we said uh, that the first thing you do uh, one my php file is supposed to generate for me the basic Okay, so I'm going to come to my uh, MAMP server. Okay, I go to my sites. And then here it is, a learning. So this is the code that is required for me to create a basic auth. Okay, so I just copy it. Then I go to my uh, sandbox. All I have to do is type here the word basic. Okay, so nothing is going to, go to happen because I'm not simply signed in. So let me sign in. Uh, let me sign in here too. Okay, so this is the documentation, and then let me sign up. Okay, so the, on the documentation, all I require right now is the testing numbers. Okay. All right, so what I need to do is type basic, and then paste, uh, paste this. Now, this will never change. This won't change. Uh, where is it? Okay, I need to find it from my Safari. This won't change. This, this will correspond, this basic authentication will correspond with your API key, okay, and the, or the API password and the API user. All right, so then I send a request. Okay, I send a request, and then it is supposed to respond, the response, okay, for the token, and then this is the response, the token, so it is... It is okay. Otherwise, <clears throat> if it has responded anything else, then uh, you need to rewatch this video step by step or, or watch the first video. Okay, so I'm going to copy this now. You already have the basic. Okay, you are requiring you are requiring a basic authentication, a basic authorization. So now you bear it. Okay. So when we come to the request to pay, when we come to the request to pay. When we come to the request to pay, okay, when we come to the request to pay, what is required of us? One, we need an authorization, which is a bearer. I bear now that authorization. So, uh, so I bear the token. And then uh, this caller ID, we don't need it. We're going to see why. And then the X reference ID, of course. Uh, this is this x reference id will be using the uid it will be tied onto that trans onto that transaction so you need to generate it every time you're creating a new transaction you need to generate an x a new experience x reference id and then you also need to generate a new uh, token so this x reference id will be tied to that token and then the target environment is the sandbox and then quarter type is uh json uh, up, up, Jason, and then of course your subscription key. All right, so let's go and see. <clears throat> let's let's try it. So all I need to come and do here is type Bayara, Bayara, and then paste the um, Bayara. Okay, let me first do this, and then paste what I got from the token. Uh, I paste what I got from the token. 
Okay, then uh, apart from that, what I need is, uh, okay, I'm, we're going to see. I'm, I don't need this callback URL, otherwise it will give me an error. Okay? It will give me an error. That is the one for map. Then I need an X reference ID, UID. And then we're going to store this UUID. It is very important. So I'm going to copy it. Okay, I'm going to copy it. <clears throat> and then use it. Okay, and then the target environment is a sandbox. Sandbox. And then what currency do you need? Uh, what amount? Maybe 2,000 shillings, 2,000 Uganda shillings. And then the currency, the testing currency for the sandbox is EUR as shown in the document, in the documentation. Where is that? In the documentation, the test currency is EUR, Euro. Okay, so then we need this number here. Any of these. The response it gives you is you just know that your item is successful, but it's not going to give that response right now. So we need them, um, okay? The external ID, this can be any number. This is just the transaction transaction ID. Uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. And then the party ID is that phone number for the user, okay? So the sandbox is providing us with those and then the message hey maybe and then the other is please pay up maybe one will be uh, uh directing the user what to do and then the other what are they paying for all right so i'm going to send i expect an error so i expect this error reason why we do not need the callback url okay we do not need it here uh, in the sandbox all right so i'm going to send again this time around you can see it is it has been accepted okay it has been accepted which is the response that we get here now the you at this moment we are waiting for the user to put in their password their pin on their phones all to reject so how do we know that the user is doing this okay so that is our next step so if this is a request to pay then we have another which is now the request to pay get okay and we can see that we need the x reference id we're trying to get what what uh what we requested so all you need is one the uuid that particular uuid that was tied to that um, token and then uh, the authorization okay this will be um, this is optional you may not need it and then the target environment that is the sandbox and blah 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 so the response will be okay okay noted that the, the failed request to pay will be returned with the status 2 okay so the status will be uh, shown here if it is successful or not so it says on our testing numbers that the first thing it will show that it will be pending and then later on it gets successful all right so what we're going to do uh it may show uh, that hours has expired because already the time has already gone gone okay by the time i switch these accounts so what am i going to do um uh, what am i going to do so i'm going to come I need the X reference ID first of all. Oh, so where is it? Oh, is it? Where is it? Where is it? Okay, am I on the yes? Get request to pay. Okay, so I need to fill in the X reference ID. Okay, this is a request to pay. Then I need the get request to pay. Okay, so get request to pay, and you can see it is already giving me the response. Uh, uh, I mean, I'm, I'm, uh, this is what I, get, I need to get uh, for the response. So let me try it. So we need this X reference ID that we filled in here because it is the one that is tied to that particular transaction. 
so I'm copying it and then we come here then we paste that right then the target environment which is sandbox and then also that value uh, which which item was it tried to but in most cases I don't think you may need it let me first send okay so it's a bad request let me first I think let me first remove it send again so it is saying it is unauthorized reason why it is not tied to that particular it is not tied to that particular um, to that particular token that was given to us okay so this is what i'm going to do i'm going to paste the x reference id okay and then uh, sandbox is the target and then i go and pick up this token as is Okay, then copy, then I come here and paste that token with that word bearer. Alright, then all I have to do is send and you can see the status is okay. But then, uh, well the response is okay, but then it expired. Okay, so the status has failed because it expired. So I'm going to try one again. Okay, so in, in the first case when I send I'm supposed to see pending and then... Um, then I see successful. Now this one already ex expired because of those, I think, 30 seconds. I don't know how I'm going to play it, but let me try. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is put a new X reference ID here. Okay, then generate a new token. So copy that. Um, copy that, and then I'm going to put... A new X reference ID here okay and then I'm going to I'm also going to put that same X reference ID um, here all right so all I need to do is paste the token in both uh, instances so I'm going to come back and find our token okay so I'm going to send again and then it will generate a new token for us so this is a token. I must make sure that I do that within that time. So all I need to do is come here and then uh, copy everything. Just put BRR. Oh, what's my keyboard connection? Come on. BRR. Then paste. Okay. Then I'm going to send again send okay so it has been accepted then i copy this again the brr command a oh sorry command a copy and then i come here and then command a and then i paste that all right so let me send and i say send okay the response is pending that that's the first response according to our documentation here uh, in the testing numbers i'm going to show you again so let me send again after 30 seconds it is still pending after 30 seconds it's supposed to show me that it is successful okay before it expires okay so let me give it that those 30 seconds oh let me hope i time them well right so it's still pending Okay, I'm doing a soft count. I don't know how. Right, so it's still pending. Then after it's supposed to show me successful. Let me send. Okay. So let's wait and we see. Okay. So this other where you, you insert the X reference ID, it's like you you checking on, on the user using your software or your server to see if the user has responded to the MTN server. And that's what this will be doing. Okay? To see if the user has responded to the MTN server. Let me first give it time.
So that's how you'll be changing. So you, you're supposed to go into your programming world and then you say, if the status response is this, okay, then this, okay, submit this, this and this and this and this. So if the status, uh, if the user denies the transaction, then the, the status, it would have failed. It, would, it can't be successful. Otherwise, you'll be seeing pending until the user accepts. So let me send again. Oh, still pending. Now I don't know. They say, uh, they, they say here that after 30 seconds, so the ongoing will be pending first. And if request again after 30 seconds, it will respond success. So let me wait. Maybe I'm, maybe I'm clicking before 30 seconds. The end of the 30 seconds. So these are your testing numbers. And that's the status you'll be receiving. All right. So as I'm talking, please don't forget to like. Don't forget to share. Don't forget to comment. Okay. Those are the things that will help us know. It will help me know that the videos are working for you or they are not. Very simple. Okay, so let me send again. Alright, so it has failed, it has expired. Maybe I clicked further than the 30 seconds. So, that is it. Uh, don't forget to subscribe, don't forget to like, don't forget to comment if the videos are working for you. Um, someone asked about balance, but then I, uh, what I can say, that during the, the, the training at the Innovation Village, they said we should leave balance because... Uh, sincerely, a customer would not want you to know their balance. So this balance is like, maybe unless the customer is checking their balance on their own platform, you know? But a customer would not want you to know their balance, to check their balance on their phone. All you need to do is transact. It's up to, to, to the system to realize that these people do not have enough balance and then it responds that the status has failed. But I guess uh, I've opened up your mind. So the next the next time we're going to do this in um, Postman. And then from Postman, I'll move to PHP, native PHP. And then we'll see how we can embed what we've learned into our native PHP. All right. So I guess I've answered most of the questions. And then please share this video. There are people who come to the platform uh, on, on the WhatsApp group and they are asking, but people who watch the video cannot even share the video. All right. See ya.